Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a living room, family room, playroom, I don't know. It's a room makeover on our previous playroom. I really wanted to convert this space into a area that our entire family could really use and enjoy and love while still keeping it a functional playroom. So I definitely think I nailed it and I DIY'd the entire thing as always because you guys know I am always on a budget and I like to do these things as a four as possible so I have a ton of great ideas to share with you if you have an awkward space like this in your house and you're looking to transform it on a budget this is definitely the place for you so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and we are just going to jump right into this of course by completely clearing out this space this is how I start every single one of my DIY makeover videos I really believe that you you cannot do anything in a room if it is cluttered with stuff so I like to pull it all out really get a feel for the room itself and see what I'm working with and then we can start from there So as you can see, this playroom was sectioned off into four different areas of play, kind of like an at-home daycare or a preschool room. And we did that a couple of years ago and loved it when we first sectioned it that way. It worked really well to give our girls individual spaces when they didn't necessarily want to be playing together, but also to keep their play on track and educational. And it made it a lot easier to clean up this room when you only had to clean one center at a time. However, as we have introduced more toys and items into this space, it has just become a cluttered mess that honestly our entire family would avoid like the plague. Even our girls did not like to go in there unless it was freshly cleaned and even then they spent limited time in here. So we knew we needed to do something about it. We wanted to convert it into more of like a family room, den style of space while still keeping it a functional playroom and we knew it was going to be a huge project. Project, so we put it off for way too long, but now that we finally got it done, I have to say I love it and I'm so relieved. Okay guys, so I've got pretty much everything out of here. The room has not been this empty since we moved in. We did leave the freezer in here just because we don't have anywhere else to put it right now, so I think we're just gonna like move it out away from the wall when I start painting and everything but for now it's just gonna be in here but everything else is completely emptied out so crazy we did run into an issue um, a friend of ours is gonna come over a little bit later and put an outlet in the middle of this wall because we're gonna hang a TV up here and I don't think the outlet over there will like reach for the TV cord and then over here, this is just so janky. The previous owners of our house put these things in here to be able to like hang a TV, which is just so silly. So there's this one where like the cords would go through and then they put one down here also for the cords to come out, which didn't make any sense because then they had like a power strip that went from here to plug into here to even like give it an electric current so it just doesn't make any sense what should have happened is there'd be something up there and then the cord would come out like right over here to plug into the wall but anyway our friend that's going to put in our outlet is also going to take these out so that we can patch them up i probably won't film that though because i don't know if he feels comfortable with it but yeah so in the meantime while we're waiting for him to get here to do that i am going to go ahead and take out all of the outlet covers and then start pulling out like screws and stuff and patching the hole 
So this ended up being probably my most involved makeover project just because of the amount of prep work that needed to happen before I could even paint the walls. I honestly was not prepared for it. I thought it was going to be just like any other makeover where I pull off the outlet covers, patch a couple of holes with some quick dry spackle, and then slap some paint on here and keep it moving, but it was not like that. As I was pulling off outlet covers, I realized that some of them were just covering holes in the wall and there was a ton of patchwork that needed to be done before I could start painting. So I'm just gonna go through, pull off all of these outlet covers and use my scraper tool to scrape any like really big parts down. And then I'm gonna go through with my dry Dex quick dry spackle. I love this stuff. It goes on pink and it turns white so you know that it is completely dry and ready to sand. And that usually happens within like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna use this to patch all of those smaller holes, but then later on I needed to bring one of my friends over he's actually a professional electrician and he needed to do some electrical work for us and then he also helped us to patch those larger holes like in a more professional way So I got everything spackled and now my friend is here and we're working on like patching all of these holes He's also going to put an outlet down here for me. Now I'm not gonna film the whole process, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're doing. So we cut out the little blue boxes that were in here and then put in these little support pieces of wood. And we're going to cut this, it's a two by two piece of drywall and we're gonna cut it to size and screw it into this piece of wood so that we didn't have to make like a larger hole in the wall. And then we will use, let me see, sorry. Then we will use this drywall tape and joint compound to patch everything up. And then when this dries, I will sand it down smooth and that's how we're going to patch everything. So this is our friend Richard and thank God for Richard. You guys have seen him in quite a few of my makeover videos and in almost all of them he has been behind the scenes whether you have seen him or not. He has just been an incredible friend to us through this last year of making over our house and just a very valuable source of information for us whenever we encounter something that we don't feel comfortable with or may not know how to do. I swear you guys I could go on and on. He's just he's amazing and if you don't have a Richard in your life then you definitely need one but anyway he came over to help me patch these larger holes and to do some electrical work and like I said before he put in some wood supports so that we wouldn't have to make a larger hole to patch and then cut a two by two piece of drywall down to size and then also spackled over our first layer of joint compound we ended up doing two layers of this stuff before I painted Okay, so it's actually the next day. We patched these huge like holes here and I still have to sand it, but I showed you guys some of that process and I just wanted to explain it a little bit more. So I showed you everything we did in the beginning and then we just used some joint compound over top of it and I actually put on joint compound and then sanded it after it dried and then did a second layer. So this is now the second layer and I think that's gonna be good. I'll be able to sand this off and then um, paint after that. Sometimes you can have to use like three and four layers though, but I think we'll be fine with this. You can see around here all of these walls had so much prep work that had to be done it is just insane the amount of like holes and areas that had to be patched before we could get started in here and it's just a big a big mess but I'm glad to finally be at this stage where I can get everything sanded and then paint because I'm just ready to paint and get this going. So I'm about to sand all of these spots down, get everything smooth, and then I also have to caulk. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell because there's so much like dust and stuff. Hold on, let me see. 
and this side um, you can really tell there's a lot of gapping in between the baseboards and they were just never caulked so I'm gonna sand everything down and then dust and mop the walls and then put the caulk down in these areas and while the caulk dries I will start rolling on the paint and then I'll just cut in afterwards when the caulk is all dry. Also, look at this. Article just dropped off all of our new furniture for this room. And how amazing is this? They brought it to the back patio for us to be able to bring it in here easier instead of dropping it off in the front and us having to like maneuver it through the whole house to get it into this room. But how amazing. That is like exceptional customer service. So we got a sectional here, so I think this is part of the couch. And then I'm pretty sure that this one is our coffee table, and then this is part of the sectional as well. And then over here we have a dresser that we're gonna be using as an entertainment stand. So I'm excited to get these walls finished so that we can bring this furniture in here and unbox it and start setting it up. So to finish up the prep work on the walls, I'm just going to use this sanding block to sand down all of the spots that had spackle on it. I'll first go in with my little metal scraper tool and knock off any like really large inconsistencies. Just make it a little bit easier for me to do the sanding. And then I'll go in with the fine grit side of that sanding block and with a very light hand, sand it down smooth. You wanna use a light hand and the fine grit side because if you're like really going at it, it, you're going to create another hole for yourself that you're going to have to patch again so this is just the way that I have found that it works best for me and has the best kind of finish Once everything is sanded, there's going to be a lot of drywall dust everywhere, so I like to go in with my E-Cloth Flexi Edge Floor and Wall Duster and knock off all of that drywall dust and just get everything like swept off and dusted off, I guess. This makes really quick work of cleaning your walls, and you guys see me do this in every single one of my makeovers where I'm painting walls. This and my E-Cloth Deep Clean Mop here are like the perfect duo. They are so important every time I do any kind of painting. I can't recommend it enough. It really does make such quick work of cleaning the walls before you paint them. I'm also going to be using this DAP Fast Dry Painter's Caulk on my baseboards. I think I showed you guys in an earlier clip, but these baseboards were never caulked, and so there were these huge gaps in them between the wall and I guess where the baseboard is. I actually ended up using this entire tube of caulk in order to fill it all in. It's just crazy to me. The previous owners of our house, they added this room onto the house, clearly, and I think they DIY'd it and they just cut a bunch of corners. I've been meaning to do this since we moved in and I just never got around to it. So I'm glad that I finally made the time because this makes a huge difference in the final product after I have painted.
For the paint, I'm going to be using this same Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray that I used in my recent living room, entryway, and fireplace makeover. I got this huge five gallon bucket so that I could basically paint my entire house this color because I feel like it is the perfect neutral. It also brightens the space quite a bit, which I really enjoy because I do like a modern farmhouse look where it's more cool tone, light and airy, and just clean lines, and I think that this really Really adds to that kind of vibe so I'm going to roll on all the paint first typically I would cut in the edges first but I'm rolling it all on first to give that caulk time to dry and then by the time that I'm rolling the paint on it will be dry enough for me to go ahead and paint all the edges Now I have been giving you guys a ton of updates in my Instagram stories throughout this entire process. I basically brought you along for the whole ride and shared little sneak peeks and things like that every day that I was working on this makeover. I do that pretty consistently anytime I do a makeover. I always try to share sneak peeks over on my Instagram stories. And when I'm not doing a makeover, I kind of treat my Instagram stories like a daily vlog. So if you are not yet following me over there, I definitely would recommend that you do. You'll see sneak peeks of videos coming up and just be more involved in my everyday life. I also really enjoy chatting with you guys through DMs and the comments over there. I feel like it's a more personal conversation. So if you are looking to connect with me further, definitely go ahead and check out my description box. There will be a link to my Instagram down there. My handle is just at loving life as Megan and I would love for you to give me a follow. all of the paint is rolled on everywhere I still have to cut in but I think I'm gonna do that off camera because I've been doing this for a while so that means you guys have been watching me paint for a while and it looks really bad really splotchy right now because it's drying so some parts are dry and some parts are not but I promise it is an even coat and you will see that when the room is all finished and all dry. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna film myself cutting in just because this is already a lot of footage of me painting. So probably the next time, or in the next clip anyway, you guys will see it all painted and we'll be bringing in the furniture from Article. 
So before I bring the furniture in, I wanted to vacuum really well, and then I also deep cleaned the carpets. I did not include any of the deep cleaning footage in this video just because it's already nearly 40 minutes long, and that's a long process. It would have pushed it over the top for sure, so I didn't want anything to get too redundant. But I always try to do that when I'm doing these makeovers to deep clean the carpets while the room is empty. So as you can see, we ordered the furniture for this room from Article, and I had actually had all of these items in my cart for months, just waiting for the perfect timing to complete this makeover. We knew that we wanted a really cozy sectional that we could fit in this space that would comfortably fit our entire family, but be high quality enough that it would last and be durable through all of the wear and tear that is going to go on in a family room, playroom type of setting. So I knew I did not want to skimp out on that and we had to order from Article for that reason. We also really wanted to have a coffee table that was big enough for the girls to be able to do art projects and coloring and things like that. And then we wanted to have a dresser instead of a media or console table underneath of our TV. That way we could kind of hide toys away in the dresser drawers without compromising the design of the space. An Article offered all of that so it was a no-brainer we surfed through their website and decided on a few pieces that we absolutely loved and actually before I placed my order I reached out to them just to see if they might want to partner on this video or send us anything to be included and I was shocked when they said yes of course they would love to send us some things and they sent us all three pieces that we had been looking at so thank you so much to article for this generous gift and for helping us to bring our vision to life in this space. We ordered the Sven Briar Gray right sectional sofa, the Nera Walnut Six Drawer Low Double Dresser, and the Linnea Walnut Square Coffee Table, and we absolutely love every single piece that we chose. We cannot believe the quality of the furniture. This is definitely the nicest furniture that we have ever ever had in our entire lives, but shockingly, it is not the most expensive that we have ever purchased. Article makes it easy to attain a beautiful modern living room or any space that you're looking to make over with high quality furniture at a great price that is designed to last, which is absolutely everything that we needed for this space. You can shop Article online and they're shipping with contactless delivery right now to ensure that everyone stays safe. In stock items deliver fast with estimated times on each product page and Article ships almost anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate of $49 or free free shipping on orders above $9.99. So if you want to check out any of the articles that we chose, I will leave all of those links down in the description box. Or if you're just wanting to surf their website to see what they have to offer that might be more your personal style or fit your needs a little bit better, I will leave all of those relevant links down in my description box for easy shopping. Okay, we have all of the furniture in here and it looks so good. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so excited for it. Thank you so much to Article for sending us this amazing sectional and coffee table and this dresser over here. Now we chose a dresser instead of a media console because we want to use the drawers as toy storage. So we thought it was still low profile enough and just really beautiful. It would still fit in the room and go well. And we're gonna hang our TV up here and kind of use it as a media console, but it also fits our other needs for creative toy storage. So anyway, now that we have all of this in here and we know that it all fits and we're happy with it, I am gonna move the coffee table out of the way. I have a rug to lay down 
and then I'm going to start pulling in some toys and decor and really pulling this space all together. Would this really be a loving life is making makeover without me spray painting something? I'm going to be spray painting this side table that I picked up for a few dollars off of Facebook Marketplace and then also a wooden board that I'll be using as a shelf in the room with this Krylon brand matte summer wheat spray paint. It's kind of a mustardy yellow color. It is really beautiful and it was perfect to make this space cozy and just add a pop of colors so that my girls would still enjoy this area while still staying true to my personal style. We found this gray and cream and mustard colored rug at home goods for like forty dollars it's a five by seven size and we absolutely love it that rug was actually the inspiration for the spray paint color that we were going to be using and i feel like it really just ties the space together and keeps it still the modern farmhouse look while also adding in that pop of color and adding in a little bit of fun but once i put that rug down i'm just going to start filling the drawers of this dresser with with all of our girls toys and art supplies like I said we still wanted this to be a functional playroom and we wanted all of these items to be accessible to them but hidden too so that we could all really enjoy this space and whenever we have guests or we're just wanting to hang out and watch a movie we have the area to do that but we also have the area to play Richard came back to help Derek hang our TV on the wall. We got a new 75 inch flat screen and we're totally in love with it. Got it on a super steal from Best Buy. However, it is so big and so heavy that I could not for the life of me help Derek lift it or get it mounted onto the wall. So thank goodness that Richard was available to come back and help us because I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to finish this makeover because I could not get that up there. And of course, while Richard was here, he was also kind enough to hang my shelf for me just so that I didn't have to. I am capable of doing this myself, but when he offered, I could not refuse. All right, now we have the TV hung and also our shelf hung. So we're finally in the home stretch. It's time to decorate. And I'm actually going to make some DIY decor for this shelf up here to bring a really fun vibe into the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna keep the rest of it really simple because this will still act as a playroom like a family room playroom. So I just don't want it to be too over the top and constantly be worried about the decor being messed up or shifted around. But I am going to put some stuff up here on the dresser, on the coffee table and that shelf, and then we'll be all done. I decided to DIY most of the decor in this room just to keep everything super budget friendly. I got a few signs from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for 50% off, and this one I'm just going to be chalk painting with a black chalk paint. I think the color is actually called Carbon, and I picked it up from the Home Depot a while ago. I had it in storage, and I just brought that out so that I could paint this black instead of a distressed chalky white.
I made these decals with my Cricut Maker and they all are Disney themed. I really wanted to do a Disney theme in here, not only because our family just loves Disney in general, but also it's a playroom, so that's more kid-friendly decor, I think, but I could still make it modern and chic enough to be a little bit appealing to the adults, I guess. So I went with a couple of inspirational and meaningful quotes to me, and then also I had that little wooden clock from Target like in the springtime, and I hadn't done anything with it yet, so I thought it would be really cool to put Peter Pan and Wendy and John and Michael and Tinkerbell all flying in the sky. I just, it came out really cool. I was really happy that I decided to do this and I was really thankful to be able to make these and have them be so inexpensive. I did find a Disney sign similar to the black one that I made with that exact quote at Kirkland's, but even on sale, it was like $30 and it wasn't even in stock and I couldn't find it cheaper anywhere and I just couldn't find the same one anywhere else. So I was really happy to have the tools to be able to make that myself and for under 10 bucks. We don't have a lot of pillows on our couch in the living room. It is a more formal or put together space, but Derek requested that we have some cozy pillows on this couch. He really wanted a cozy space for us to all hang out and relax. So I tried my very best to do that. I got some knit cozy pillows. They actually were the ones that were on our entryway bench when I did the entryway makeover. And then I also picked up a couple of these $10 Opal House brands blankets from Target. They are the softest material and so affordable. I love them so much. I picked them up in a couple of different colors to see which ones I liked best and I just layered those on the chase lounge part of our sectional. I chose the mustard color because it really tied in with this side table over here and I kept that decor really simple, just a little lamp and a candle because I did not want our girls to be knocking over anything or breaking any decor or have to worry about not being able to play because there's too much decor around. So everything in this room as far as decor goes is going to be very simple and minimal and most of it is going to be functional just because I wanted to keep in mind that this is going to be a play space still and I don't want to make my kids uncomfortable or scared to play because they're afraid of breaking anything. I filled these baskets with some of the kids most played with toys and books and I didn't do anything else on the dresser but that finished up this room and now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of those before shots one more time just to remind you what the space looked like before we started working on this makeover. Here is what the room looks like now and I 
nailed it you guys I absolutely love it my whole family loves it I was able to create that cozy comfy space for us to all hang out and for our kids to play without compromising the design aesthetic that my husband and I prefer it is just everything that we wanted it to be I know that it is super simple as far as decor goes but again that was very intentional because this is still a play space and we do have a few more ideas so definitely stay tuned for some future videos where we might be making a few small changes but for now this is absolutely perfect and we absolutely love it Okay guys, that is everything in today's makeover. I hope that you all enjoyed the process and that you were able to take away some ideas to use in your own home to make over your own spaces. Don't forget to check out the links in my description box, especially the links to article, check out all of our amazing new furniture and everything that they have to offer for you and your design aesthetic. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.